Hey guys, um, I'm going to unbox another Samsung 9 series and this time I don't have to hold the camera and hopefully I can do it under 10 minutes because that's the um, HD recording limitation of this camera. Um, anyways, the model I'm unboxing is NP900X3B. Um, the first one I unboxed was a A01. This is an A02. Uh, but physically, they look exactly the same, and hardware specs is all it's also exactly the same. So I don't know why Samsung um, had different model numbers. Okay, here's the retail box. Here's the notebook, but I'll get to this in a minute. Let's just get through the accessories first. This is going to be the manual and all the warranty information. And the recovery CD. User guide quick start and warranty okay. here is the power adapter you see it's pretty small and uh, they put the window sticker right on here so you it doesn't you know it gives the notebook a more clean look this dongle is the Ethernet um, adapter because um, they're not going to be able to fit this Ethernet port right here right onto the notebook because it's too thin so they gave a, a, an adapter for it okay and this is the notebook It's made from a single shell aluminum. It's very light, about 2.5 pounds. It's the second lightest notebook in a 13 inch. Okay, let's actually boot it up. And while it's while it's um, booting for the first time, I can talk about some of the stuff. Um, keyboard, it's very, it's very, um, shallow, but with a notebook this thin, that's pretty much expected. It uses a chiclet style keyboard. So, and it's very sturdy. Yeah, 
next, next. Okay, so even the first boot up is pretty fast. Uh, it's pretty much almost done. Uh, right now it takes about 30, 34 watts while the battery is charging and it's running. Um, let's see, trackpad feels pretty smooth. It has a minimalistic design. Um, you don't see any buttons, but there are buttons you can push, the left and right. But it also supports a multi-gesture, multi-finger gesture. So you can do everything without even actually pushing any buttons. Mm, the main uh, selling point about this notebook is actually the screen because it uses uh, PLS technology which is Samsung's own uh, version of uh, IPS. Um, what that means is it has great viewing angles and great color accuracy. Um, it has a 1600 by 900 resolution and it goes all the way up to 400 nit brightness. Um, yeah, so, this is what it looks like. Um, this model here is a Sandy Bridge i5, but there is another one that just kind of came out with an Ivory Bridge model. Um, I chose this one because it, it has a slightly slower processor, but it has a much better solid state disk than the newer revision. Um, this one has a PM, a Samsung PM830 solid state. The one that just came out uses a SanDisk uh, U100, which is uh, a lot slower. So I think overall, it's um, it's worth the the trade. Um, let me just get a close up. Okay. Um, here's the keyboard. See if I can get brighter. Let's go over the ports real fast. Um, you can see that the power plug is pretty small. Okay, the power plug is pretty small. It's this tiny um, little plug here. This looks like a USB 3.0 port. Uh, this is the uh, micro HDMI, and I think this is the um, the Ethernet port. But you can see how tiny it is. It's not going to fit a normal Ethernet, and this is why they gave a, a little adapter to plug it in. Yeah, so it goes like that. So. If you want to um, plug it in um, to an Ethernet port, because there's no wireless nearby, then you I guess you're forced to use this little adapter thing. Okay, now other side. This one here looks like a USB 2.0, since it's not um, blue. This looks like the a headphone slash microphone combo jack. Um, this is a mini VGA port, which I think is pretty useless because um, you're forced to, if you want to use it, you're forced to buy Samsung's adapter, which is like, I don't know, I think like um, 40 bucks. And Samsung didn't even include it. So I think this port is pretty old and it's useless. I, I can, the only reason why, why I can see you use this is um, for old projectors and lastly this looks like the microphone this little pinhole looks like the microphone um, the microphone port okay so there it is so just now I kinda rushed everything since I only had 10 minutes before the video cuts off but now I want to go over just a few more things. Okay, so this is the Asus UL20A. It's a 12.1 inch screen. And this is a Samsung Series 9 13.3 inch screen. 
and you can see that there's almost no size difference here. So what Samsung managed to do was fit a 13 inch screen in a 12 inch form factor body. Another thing I wanted to mention was that I don't think they can possibly make this notebook any thinner because you can see that um, this is a USB flash drive right here and if they made it any thinner um, you won't even be able to plug it in see so right now the, the flash drive is just sitting on the ground here and you can see that it can barely go in so with other ports like the HDMI, the VGA or the Ethernet plugs they're just simply too big to fit in this notebook and that's why you need like a smaller version of the adapters to make them fit this one I can just open up with one hand this one I'm going to need two hands to open it okay you can see that the screen um, this Asus one has a pretty reflective screen and this Samsung here has a matte finish which I prefer because I go outside a lot with my notebooks and you know the reflection just gets pretty annoying um, you can see that the bezel is pretty thin on the Samsung see? so what this means is that it has a high ratio of screen to notebook size and this is how they managed to fit a 13 inch screen in a 12 inch body okay, let's boot them up This one I put an Intel 40 gigabyte solid state inside. This Samsung has a, the PM830 128 gigabyte solid state. Um, I boot this one up first, by the way, and you can see that the Samsung still finished loading sooner. This is only the second time I booted this notebook. The first time was just a few minutes ago, so there's no tweaks at all. It's booting fresh from whatever bloatware that's already on it. And I plan to wipe all this bloatware crap out for my friend to make it even faster. Now, screen brightness. I think right now it's on medium. Um, I'm not sure if my camera is going to be able to pick it up. But um, this is the lowest brightness right here. Now it's on max. Yeah, it's hard to see because um, whatever brightness I set it at, the camera is just going to adjust the exposure. Okay. Now the backlit keyboard. It's on right now, but again, I don't, I'm not sure if my camera is going to be able to pick it up. Well, you can kind of see it. Um, it's a teal color. Here, I'll turn it off and then turn it back on. All right, now it's off. Now we'll turn it back on. There, you can kind of see it. It's like teal.